when, when it comes to Ani YouTube, it makes it easy because of the food that I see coming from you, right? People, you know, it's just a meal. You took on a task with these kids. I know it's not easy. I know it's not easy. I'm surprised none, like one of the dreads didn't even turn gray yet. Because I know these kids are not easy. And I see you time after time being faithful to these kids. And, and you go hard for the kids. You're like a real true mama bear. Yes. Like you say, you're Hallelujah. Yes. I love how the kids respect you. Amen. Yes. Um, Amen. Pastor Jason. Like wow. you just you just came out of nowhere, man. Yeah. Like, like, you're, you're the evidence of a praying wife and a praying mama. Yeah. Yeah. Because you just came out of nowhere and you just started excelling. And, and you even came to Trini with us and shocked me. And really to see how you would just toss out. How man, you just were tossed in there. Like, okay, we gotta teach a class tomorrow. And, and when you heard it was you by yourself, it's like, oh, we gotta study. <laughs> So you made sure we stayed up all night and we studied all out there bucking and chucking and we're like, like nah, we gotta stay up, we gotta stay up, right? And we, we, we read through almost a whole book, right? Learning about Abraham and, 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 and different things that I learned, you learned. And it was really, really amazing to see how God used you both, especially in Trinidad. And then you guys really make impact. And that's what the church is, that's the heartbeat of the church. We gotta make impact anywhere we go. Amen. And you guys are evidence of that. And I thank God for you. I thank God for your faithfulness. I thank God that how He's allowed us to trust you. You are the heartbeat of the ministry. You, you, it's like you came and you fit right in to move the work forward. Amen. And and I really appreciate you. And I'd like to call anybody else who would like to call my wife is my baby. Praise God. I want to honor your marriage Amen. and your family because that's what I truly admire the most. Jason, you are a man for real. Yes. Like, you don't even have to say much. I see in the spirit how you do for your family. Yes. And they mean everything to you. When I see Onaya dance and you cry at the growth and the development of your daughter, that moves me. Camille, you go hard for your husband. You ain't gotta say much, and I know you be trying to act like, oh, but I know you love him. I know that is your heart, and I honor your marriage. It is admirable. The fact that the way that you love your family, I wouldn't them up prick you. It's admirable. And my prayer for you is that you go many more years and be an example to many more people. Amen? I love you both, and I thank you for standing in the ministry, standing with us in service. I know, you know, particularly me, I'm not the most easiest person to move. Yeah. But I love you nonetheless. Amen? Amen. Thank you for your service. the life 
the mothers. You not only care for your children, but each of your nieces and nephews, you're like the soldier. This Auntie Camille gets your foot running. They love you, they appreciate you, even though you sometimes they feel like your heart, they know it's through love. And if it's not for the love of God, you won't be able to do it. You are my little sister. Who can tell that? <laughs> she bullies me all the time, you know. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell. I'm thankful to God for you. And I am so proud of the man that you've become. I'm thankful for God for you. Someone, someone can look up to. Amen. And I thank God for you today. And I pray that God continue to bless, keep, and fit both of you. I pray that He walk with you every step of the way. And like you always say, put God. Once God is in it, there's no mistake to it. And I pray that you just continue your prayer life, your faithfulness to God, and you will continue doing everything that needs to be done in your life. I love you guys. Thank you. I want I really am honored to be here. Thank you for your hospitality. I speak of Jason before I speak of my daughter. He's a son too. We share little things that my daughter does with my boys. And I pray for Jason as I pray for my own wonderful son. And I always want to see him stand as the head of his household, the priest of his life. So always pray for him to be in the house of God and as an example to his family. And I see God has done it. Amen. I know my daughter, she's strong. And no matter what, she's going to fight. So I never worry about their relationship. I know she will do it. She's fine. Camille is more a warrior. And somehow she takes a little of it from me. <laughs> I may be like somebody quiet, but underneath, I'm a fighter. And I thank God because it's through His grace and His mercy that I was able to raise my children here in the United States. I brought them here as young girls. And God has been faithful that I have been able to take care of them without bringing a man into my home or going out to them and leaving them by themselves. So by God's grace, they had a foundation. Amen. And here is she, standing up with her husband, giving a foundation for her children. Amen. Not only was she just for her family, but her sister's children, her brother's children, neighbors, people just come in. And just as how they would do to me, bring in strange children in my home. I would have to find food, shelter them. I had one in my home for over a year. <laughs> They're always coming in. Morning, noon, and night. My house is always full. I could never stop them. They always look out for other people. She is a soldier. When she talks, people may get afraid of her, but underneath that tough exterior, she is a good sad person. She carries a lot of love, but her passion to see things go right sometimes gets ahead of her. She wants to see things in order, that military leader. That's who she is. And I am grateful to her. She has stood the test. 
If you hear her get angry, don't look at the exterior. Underneath that, it's a different person. She don't stand for stupidness. And I know where it's coming from. <laughs> I'm just proud of both of you. I'm not singing one from the other. It's a unity. And I know growing up this is a and town we meet. It's what happened at the end of the day that makes the difference. We never go to bed angry with one another. You resolve your differences. And I am just grateful to God to see the growth. I was, I was excited when I hear that you step up. Because we have all little conversations and I get in my spirit something is about to happen. But it happened quicker than I thought. It was God doing one of those suddenness. And there it is. I'm so proud of you. God bless you.
Hallelujah. Lord God, you are the God yes, Lord. of the creation. And Lord God, yes, a lot Jesus. of men are in this family, Lord God. And each yes, of them God. we're calling them out of the yeah. right now. In the name Lord of God, Jesus. God, wherever you want to place them, God, it doesn't yes, matter. Lord. But from there in your house, Lord God. Hallelujah. Mothers, thank God. Yes. I in the name of Jesus. And I used to say, Mommy, why are you calling me into God, God so sorry. much? Sometimes we worried. I, said, I wasn't saved at that time, and I think maybe something would happen to her. Yes, Lord. But she was praying, covering over. Jesus. Hallelujah. So now, as mom, we pray, covering over this family. And now, God, you send it to the family of this yes, house. Yes, mighty God. God, God, young girls, young boys. My yes. God, I call them out of the In the name now. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. God, God, bless this ministry, God, the city of life. Light to others. In your name we praise. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen.